Hello. During the last few years, well, in fact, it's been a tradition, a long tradition in Canada United Church. We have tried to invite um, scholars or, or people that would help us to engage our world, our faith, our spirituality, the way we are the church, and try to either provoke us or to push us a little further or contribute to our reflection. Well, in the next few months, to be more specifically by the end of February, we will welcome John Bell. And John Bell will come from Scotland or United Kingdom, depending on the result of last uh, next Thursday, the referendum, we'll see. But more seriously, John Bell is... Um, a great hymn composer and but sometimes people say oh so it's gonna be about music hymn it's gonna be for musician no well yeah musician will it will be interesting for those who have a, a love of music John Bell we tend to forget is an ordained minister of the Church of uh, the Presbyterian Church in Scotland and one of his passion is the revitalization of worship, trying to pronounce, revitalization of worship in the context of this 21st century. And, and that's an interesting uh, approach. It will start by using music, singing, and, and not singing like uh, professional uh, paid uh, people. No, everybody can sing. And he has this beautiful uh, reflection about the choir. The congregation is always a choir and so sad that we are told sometimes from very young that we cannot sing, our voice is not beautiful. And he said, no, 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 no. That's, 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 that's false. That's wrong. We all have a voice. And he will start from this singing, from this music, to reflect about how are we together? As a church, what do we say in our hymns, but also in our prayers, in our liturgy? What does it say about us? What we want from God? Uh, how do we interact from one another? It will come uh, last weekend of February, I said, but what I'm trying to organize is our fall study. In the Monday nights of October, 6, 13, 20, 27, not sure about the date, but I'm sure about it's Monday nights, 7 o'clock, and to have a conversation uh, about the work and the, the idea of John Bell, I have this wonderful DVD, Singing the Unsung, a series of clips that could lead us to conversation. Also, there will be other opportunity to sing his songs. There's there's books he wrote. There's there's many things that we will try to do in the next few months to try to prepare ourselves for the, the coming of John Bell, but also to make us think. It's more than being ready. So so I will know what he's thinking. Is very down to earth that man. Uh, it's thinking about how do we worship. And, and it's a very powerful reflection, how we worship, because sometimes we have the feeling that, well, that's because that's the way it is. We sing four hymns or three hymns on Sunday morning because that's the pattern I've been raised with. A sermon happened at that time because that's the way we've been raised. And to have those reflections, that, yeah, but what if, what if we do something? What if at the funeral we don't sing as John Bell, sing something else than the Lord is my shepherd and abide by me? All those questions said, yeah, what if? So in the next few weeks, next few months, I hope you will engage with us in this reflection about worship, about music, about liturgy, about sermon, that you will be ready to explore maybe different ways, uh, little things, little, a few things that it might be a little different, but 
maybe can help us to experience our time together differently. And who knows, maybe open us to something new, something different. Something that will work for us some, something that will not work for others. And through this exploration, I can guarantee you there will be mistakes. And I can guarantee you there will be fail. But the goal is to try. Try to think differently sometimes. Try to be differently. Try to discover where God might also be. So... Take care of yourself, and I hope you will have a great week, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.